Hello and welcome to our very first unit in physical science, chemistry, and part one, classifying matter. So as we work through this unit, we're going to be looking at what matter is, how we can classify it, and then going deeper into how it behaves, etc. So in order for us to do that, first thing we need to talk about is what is matter and what is non-matter. So matter, what is it? Well, matter is just the stuff that makes up all of the physical substances in our universe. So if you look around you, literally wherever you're sitting, and you see or feel something that is a physical substance, it can be considered matter. So every physical substance in our universe is made up of what we call matter. So in order for something to be considered matter, there are two things that it needs to fulfill. It needs to, one, have mass. So it needs to have some amount of mass, even if it is very, 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 very small. So like an atom or a cell, very, very tiny. We could never even see an atom with the naked eye. However, it does have some level of mass. Therefore, it is considered to be matter. Second thing that needs to be true in order for something to be matter is that it must take up space. So it must have some level of volume, again, even if it is very, very, very small, if it has any amount of volume, it is considered matter. So some quick examples of matter, if you look around your room, you can find some yourself. Uh, air, the air around you, you can't see it, but you know it's there because if a fan is blowing, that air can push something around. We know that we can fill a balloon with air. Air is matter. Rocks, hydrogen peroxide, water, the wood that makes up the table that I'm sitting on, the cells that make up our body, gold, a house. Your house is made of lots of different types of matter, pens, dirt. I could go on and on. As long as it has mass and takes up space, it is considered matter. Now, don't let this confuse you, but what do you mean, Mrs. Santiago, if everything is matter, then what is non-matter? So matter is a physical substance. It is the substance that makes up our physical world. So all of the things that are considered matter are physical substances. So for something to be considered non-matter or not matter, it is something that is non-physical. So these are things that don't have mass, they don't take up space, and they're not physical. Things like light, sound, both of which are a form of energy, so energy, heat, forces, and then sort of uh, abstract things that aren't physical, like thoughts or feelings or ideas or love. So if it's not a physical substance, it does not have mass and take up space, it is considered non-matter. So the last thing we're going to look at today is how we can classify matter. So as we work through this unit, you're going to learn in detail about all of these different classifications of matter, how they are, what they are, how they behave, etc. But what, I, uh, what we are going to look at today is simply this graphic organizer, where any matter in the universe can be classified in one of these categories. So if we look at the top, this graphic organizer is breaking down all matter. So if it's matter, it falls somewhere in this organizer. So all matter in the universe can be first broken down into two distinct categories, pure substances and mixtures. Under pure substances, there are two further classifications that pure substances can be broken down into, which are elements and compounds. And as I stated before, don't worry about what these are yet. Just keep in mind how matter is organized, because as we work through the unit, we are going to learn more about what all of these categories of matter